Hello, welcome to Promixing and Mastering. Today I'm going to teach you how to master a song in Cubase 5 just using Cubase plugins. Before you go for mastering, make sure that your mixing is very good. If your mixing is not good, your mastering is not going to turn out good. So make sure you work on the songs during mixing and during our recording so that the singer can give you the the best voice and also uh, so that you can do uh, your best when it comes to mixing and then from there you can take it for uh, mastering if you can't really master then take it to a mastering engineer who can do the mastering for you here's my track already uh, mixed I'll see you guys on the other side when the export is done. Yeah, so right now my export is done. So I'm just gonna close this. And then where you have to go is go on file, create new project. Now, alternatively, you can come to uh, Cubase has mastering setup. So you just have to click on it, click on the mastering set setup, and then it will take you there. And preset and then hit OK and then you find that all these will open up uh, it comes with multiband compressor, stereo enhancer and maximizer so I think I'm gonna use that so let me close here and there then now we have to get our song which has been mixed which is sad J so I'm just gonna you just get it and drop it there drop it in the very track which Cubase are uh, has opened for you so once you've thrown your song into the track all you have to do is come on edit channel settings and then here are your your uh, plugins which uh, comes with Cubase once you go on mastering preset they just uh, they just do everything for you I advise you to first mute stereo enhancer and then uh, I'm gonna take out multi band compressor for now I'll come back to that later load up what is called a compressor in Cubase. Remember, I'm using Cubase um, plugin. So I'm just going to go to Dynamics and then pick up a compressor. This is a Cubase compressor. And then I'm going to play the song now. Now, inside a Cubase compressor, you'll find presets. So the first thing that you have to do is try to load up a preset and see how it works for you. So right now, I'm going to load up a preset uh let me try dance master then you have to really be careful let it not be too much so the threshold uh just take it to a point where you can see that it just it, it starts the compressor the compressor starts kicking in don't Take it too much because your song is not gonna sound good so let's see let me take it back to zero and then as soon as the compressor starts kicking in i'm just gonna let it be there the math ma your ratio i'm gonna take the ratio also back and then put it on 1.80 Eight zero ratio just a little don't put it too much because you're you, remember you're doing mastering your song is already good during mixing so mastering is just one or little uh, things that you are working on right now as soon as the compressor kicks in negative 8.0 is okay for me yeah it's it is very much okay then uh, my gain let me try to put it on let me try to put it off and on we see how the volumes are working out with the compressor on auto we will add the volumes later using the maximizer so for me i think 
uh, on auto it is okay so set this uh, uh, makeup gain on auto then your ratio set it on 1.80 the soft knee turn it off turn soft knee off and then the threshold make sure that you uh, take it to a level where just a little immediately you see the compressor here right here starts to engage leave it there you put too much your song is gonna be bad and then the release i think the release is okay uh slower release or faster release and then the peak analy analysis just uh let it be where it is the release i think i'm okay with where it is once you find that the hold is on one just take it back the hold has to go back then the attack i think i like the way the attack is right now so with the compressor it is done just like that the second thing that we are going to work on right now is an inside eq so i'm going to use this eq within cubis so that it can be easier so here we go what i'm trying to do is not to find unnecessary um sounds but just to control them a little bit so what you're looking for is just try, try, trying to control the sound a little bit using an eq in case there are certain places which are a little bit just high just a little bit just drop them a little bit not too much remember this is not like a vocal where you are sweeping and trying to eq everything really hard this time you are just doing subtle changes to your to your mix just little ones maybe raising up the low raising up the mid or just cutting a little and raising up the highs just just a little just to make it uh uh, uh sound good and this is basically how they created i am pusher they did their settings and then they just uh, made it into one so it's the same thing there is no uh, difference so check this out So right now i feel like uh remember use your ears use your ears with me i feel like the high has to come in just a little bit so i'm just gonna raise it to this to this area around 5k 10k and 20k area uh though uh i think around 10k uh, 5k and 10k somewhere there i can raise it up a little bit so let me try uh 10k About 2.0 is okay for me somewhere there. Uh, before an EQ. After. So for me, I think it is okay right there. Then uh, I feel like... Um, I feel like the kick around here is kicking a little bit harder. So very hard. So I'm just going to try to to like reduce it around... Uh, a hundred somewhere there just 1.2 this is before after remember small a little changes are gonna really affect your mix in a good way too much is really gonna affect your mix in a bad way so next i'm just gonna pick another one um like um like four i need four yeah so i'm gonna pick four and see if four can 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 try to to raise it up somewhere here yeah just just like that i think i'm okay one to raise up the best just the low a little bit i think when it comes to eq win i'm okay where it is right now so next i'm gonna try i'm gonna add a multi-band compressor and here is multi-band without make sure this is the, the the high make sure the high is not too much watch watch what happens when the high is too much Remember, during EQ, we added uh, a little bit of a high, so you don't need to add much. So I'm just going to drop it a little bit. 
somewhere there then let me listen to the mids the loss So this area just make sure it is not too much it's like the mids and the lows a little bit so you don't take it too much if it's too much it's like this when it's too much like to you. I just, want to know you. just to, I don't want to wrong you. just to clean it up a little bit yeah then Yeah, the, a little bit of combination with the high and a little bit of mid somewhere there. And then the the bears or the low somewhere here. That's why you want your 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 song to really hit hit harder. You can use this area, the low area. But I don't want it to really hit harder. It was already hitting harder when I was mixing, so you have to use your ears. So here we go. So for me, for me, I think I'm okay right here with uh, the law. Uh, you can also listen to them. You can solo each band. For example, you can solo each band just to listen to how the frequencies are working out. Watch this. All you have to do is click here, solo. That's a kick the bass and... So, for me it's okay. Then this one right here, the, the left one is bypassing. When you don't want the, uh, the bass to be there, you bypass it. Put it back. You don't want this to work to the, the multi band to uh bass area to work. You just bypass it if you want it, switch it off. List you can also listen to the highs, how the highs are working out. Yeah, they are really working out. Then the uh, mids. So basically that, that is the way they work. Then you can also try to compress them a little bit. You can give them a, a certain ratio and see how they kick in. See how when they start kicking in somewhere here, something starts to show. This is uh, compressing the high. Then you can also compress the low. You can also compress the mids and the, the, low, the lows, I mean, and the mids. So I think the, the 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 highs are controlled right there with a ratio of about uh, 3.7. And basically, this is how you deal with a compression when you are using multiband compressor. Then next, uh, you pick up a maximizer, maximizer from uh, a, a maximizer from uh, a Cubus. You just go pick dynamics, pick maximizer. All these are from Cubase. So you just pick it up and then uh, bring it there so that your sound can really come out. So let's try to raise up the volume a little bit using maximizer. Remember during compression, we didn't want to increase the volume. I said we are going to increase the volume using the maximizer. So here we go. Optimize is how you want, how loud you want it to be. you optimize the loudness I'm gonna put optimize put it on 50 or 66 somewhere there it's okay then the volume you just raise it up so that it can be in the area of 0 dB somewhere here So I think for me, right here is very much okay. The last plugin that you use from Cubase, remember this, you're going to special, you will find what is called Stereo Enhancer. Now, it has its own presets. There is more space, there is mastering, more room. So let me try to go on uh, mastering, more room, and then we try to configure it from there without uh, Stereo Enhancer. With the preset engaged you. 
So make sure you switch off delay. Stereo enhancer works as a, a stereo expander, the same as the imager works in I am Pusher. So you just try to image your sound so that your sound can sound fuller in speakers and just wide enough to, to add that excitement. Then color when you try to Though I don't usually use this because the color usually works with a delay, so you can just switch it off and then work with uh, the width. I think that is okay. And then from there, you can uh, go to uh, export and uh, hit export and export your track. So basically guys, this is the way you are uh, master your songs in Cubase 5 in a simple way. I hope this video helped you and if this video has helped you, leave me a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.